Over the past couple of months, I've been surrounded by girly anime profiled Linux users Bruh. who are desperate to invite anyone to the Linux operating system, or more specifically, the Arch Linux. Besides, the custom configurations shown by people on Reddit's r slash Unix porn have blown me away with just how incredibly customizable Linux can be. Meanwhile, my go-to operating system Windows has been giving me more headaches than usual. Even with a solid i5 processor and RTX 2050, Windows was not providing the best experience and my PC could definitely do better. I'm constantly dealing with overheating and lagging, and it's becoming increasingly frustrating. So, with a bag full of issues, I went for the hunt of my ideal operating system. Now, the ideal place to find people who would give an arm to answer your question is Discord. So I headed to a dedicated Linux channel to get my answers. And, uh... I asked these guys for the ideal distro before getting started, and turns out people have strong opinions against each other for these. Knowing Arch from the fanboys and Debian just by its weird name, I asked these guys to choose one, and it was definitely a bad decision. So, what do we do in case of conflicts of opinions? We use democracy. With the most voters favoring Arch, that's what I went ahead with. Now, I really don't know what the major differences are there between all these distros, but I gotta know that Arch is a CLI, or command line interface, based distro, which means you gotta do everything from the terminal, everything by yourself, manually. Seems pretty fun, right? Now moving to the installation, carrying my imposter syndrome, I wasn't too sure if I could fit in with Linux. At the same time, switching to another OS means my productivity would technically be zero until I get familiar with it. The risk had to be taken, as trying Linux was definitely a must. With a bit of web surfing, I got to know that I can have a dual boot, which means that I can have two installations of two different operating systems at the same time. Pretty cool, right? So. Technically speaking, I can try Linux, and at the same time, I can switch back to Windows to continue my work whenever I want. Now we were all set, I went ahead and installed the image for Arch, and burned it into a USB stick using the Rufus software. Now with the USB ready, I remembered that I have to split my drive in order to have a dual installation. I wanted to buy a separate SSD for Linux, but funds are tight, so hit that subscribe button, it's free. Now, I have a main drive of 512 gigabytes, which I decided to split, and I allocated about 200 gigabytes to Linux, which seemed to be fair for now. Then I restarted my PC and went to the boot menu. Here I booted into my USB stick, and I was invited to the grub menu where I choose to install Arch. Within a moment, I was greeted with the CLI of Arch Linux. The very first thing I did on Linux was connect to my Wi-Fi and ping google.com. After this, I followed a blind tutorial for dual boot, because one wrong step and all my data could be wiped. Now, there is an easy way to install Arch using the arch install command, but I wanted to do this install all manually to have a better understanding of what I'm doing. I created three partitions, the EFI, the root, and the swap partition from the allocated 200 gigabytes. Then I added the standard user, the system language, the time zone, and installed some basic tools like Git and Vim. Now I had to install a desktop environment, which basically manages the graphical user interface. It manages user experience and includes things like the file file manager, taskbar, the settings, and many more. This again was a topic of controversy on Discord, but we somehow settled on KDE for now. I also had to install SDDM, or Simple Desktop Display Manager, which is just a graphical login screen and helps to launch the desktop environment. Then I enabled this SSDM and my system loaded into the login screen. Here I logged in with my password and boy I was in. The first impression? Man, this is smooth. 